Este mazo del diablo uh, means devil's backbone. It goes all the way from Mazatlan to Duranga, and now there is a, a much faster toll road exists, which is also super beautiful, but still this original road through all the mountains um, it's very twisty very beautiful uh, i'm gonna show you it today so join me for a beautiful ride My dear humans, a very good morning from Mazatlan, uh, Mexico. I'm about to pick up my bike from the secure parking lot. And today we are going to Espinaza del Diablo. Wow, the parking was like $30 for one night, what? I decided not to argue, but maybe I should next time. What the fuck? I mean, oof. They said it like like ten dollars. It would be like ten dollars. Okay. Yeah. That's yes. Okay. I'm. Um, a little bit overwhelmed by what I had to pay for uh, parking. I'm not sure if, if I was... Okay, never mind. Yeah, now it's a breakfast quiz. As you might imagine, half of the play places do not exist. Half of the places are closed. But I need to have breakfast that early because it's a long day ahead. The most common thing to have for breakfast here is omelette. And for me, it's omelette with veggies. You can find it everywhere in any state. from Mazatlan. Mazatlan riding uh, the opposite direction, all the traffic is going, but the traffic this way towards Mazatlan is crazy, like crazy. Oof, I'm so glad I'm, I'm going there. Hola. Uh, premium. Poco más. Uh -huh. Gracias. ¿Hasta dónde van? Ah, uh, Oaxaca, Chiapas. Ya. Hoy, hoy Durango. Hay nieve ahorita en Durango. Hay nieve. Snow. 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 degrees Celsius I guess it will be time for a warm jacket soon
putting more layers on I guess it's gonna get cold They said, said it might be snow in Durango and um, the road which I'm taking Espinazo, El Espinazo del Diablo, it might be icy Let's check it out, but I checked the weather It should be, well in Durango, in Durango there might be snow but this road I guess at least at the daylight sun it should be fine I hope but if it is icy and it's a super twisty road well <laughs> imagine a huge chain of mountains like a giant backbone running along the west coast of Mexico it's called the Sierra Madre Occidental stretching over 1500 kilometers which is 930 miles from Arizona to Guanajuato this place is full of extremes with some peaks reaching 3300 meters and deep canyons that go down for thousands of meters it's like the Grand Canyon but even bigger the Sierra Madre Occidental is like a treasure chest full of amazing things it's home to some of the tallest mountains in Mexico with sharp peaks that feel like they touch the sky. Just imagine hiking up one of these giants and feeling like you're on top of the world. And the canyons here are some of the deepest globally, even deeper than the Grand Canyon in some places. This mountain range also has lush forests with tall trees, hidden caves, sparkling with stalactites and stalagmites and wide rivers rushing down the mountainsides. Along with all these incredible sights, the Sierra Madre Occidental is home to a variety of cool animals. You might see deer, jaguars, eagles and butterflies. If you are lucky, you might even come across the Tarahumara people who have been living in harmony with the mountains for centuries. They are known for their amazing running skills and their deep connection to the land. Interesting, it looks like this is the spot where I um, crossed the toll road. Oh, okay, I, I can see it down there. Um, I think it goes through the rock, just straight through the rock. Okay. The views are beautiful, we are getting higher and higher into the mountains, lots of twisties, oh I mean look at this, look at this, Oof. Uh, I just saw two motorcyclists, the guy from yesterday, Roberto, and I guess his friend uh, they just passed me, so I'll probably see them again. Hola! Hi girl, how are you? Federico. Hello. Hello. I'm Federico. Xenia. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Vea padre moto trae, eh? Sí. Sí. La trae bien equipada la Xenia. I got some drone shots. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. That's Bye. beautiful. Nice road. to meet you again. Sorry for yesterday, but I was like losing my mind. Uh -huh. It was heat and no breakfast and no sleep. And I no, was don't fainting. worry. I, I, was I can really imagine. Unwell. And you know what? I find the restaurant was uh, two blocks away from us, mm -hmm. but was really full. Uh -huh. Half hour of line, so I say forget it. I went to my hotel, and this was okay. okay. But you do it.
bridge. Above me, this is where normal people are going. Oof. Uh, it takes a little bit over two hours uh, to go from Mazatlan to Durango via the uh, toll route, which is which we've just seen. Um, and it took about six to eight hours to get from Mazatlan to Durango via the road that I'm currently doing. Am I even normal? his friend they need to ride much faster because they want to be <coughs> they want to make it all the way to Durango and then back on the toll road in one single day so I am going on my own in my own pace which is much more comfortable for me because I stop often I ride slowly I take a lot of pictures drone shots like you know, my noticed yeah, but I hope I will meet them for lunch, maybe? If I see their motorcycles parked somewhere, I would be, it would be awesome to have lunch together. But riding, maybe not today. Um, yeah, sometimes I feel bad about me uh, declining people's offers to ride together, but it's nothing personal. The reason is that just I have my own plan and I need to stick to it. Um, I heard gunshots and after a bit, like a kilometer or so, I saw a man with a gun. <coughs> Not sure what it was, nobody else was around. But yeah, these mountains, um, they are Sierra Madre. They are known for growing poppies. And yeah, so you might know that Sinaloa state is famous. Uh, well, the whole area of these mountains is famous for cartels and all. So I am cautious. Um, but this road should be safe. As far as I know, and trust me, I, <laughs> I was paranoid, so I checked multiple times, it should be safe. But uh, nobody can promise you, of course, anything. Um, 13 degrees Celsius, getting colder, let's see if we will meet snow. I was told it's snow in Durango. Huh. The road is very well maintained. Um, I would say it's almost in perfect condition. Yeah, the signs are clear and speed limits are here for a reason. So if you ever go here Keep this in mind.
but look I think this is fresh paint or or what super nice what I like about rural Mexico and rural uh, Guatemala for example is that street dogs they are so used to motorcycles that they do not bark at you this is so awesome this is so much not the case in Russia for example where you have a lot of stray dogs but they when they see motorcycle they chasing you they're chasing you they try to bite you and well not fun but here it is awesome they are just laid back and laying down on the road oh hello turn after turn after turn after turn um, most of the people go towards um, viewpoint it's called Mirador Espinazo del Diablo um, I have 40 minutes till this point I decided to check it out oh here are the guys Bienvenido and Durango oh hola oh Places in Mexico exist. Exist. I mean, oh, 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 oh. Um, yeah, and we are far away from the main highway, uh, which goes straight to Durango. So these views you will not get on the highway. Um, this is road 40 and the highway is called 40D This is insane This is just insane Oh, I forgot my glasses Don't do this at home. Putting my glasses on. One hand driving. One hand with glasses on. El Espinazo del Diablo. Op, 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 op. See, si. much better. Oof. I asked what's but like everyone is saying that don't ride at night, don't ride at night, don't ride at night. Um, what exactly is happening here and uh, why? Why shouldn't I ride at night and how safe is it overall? Um, so what they said is that things happen, uh, but it's hard to so it's hard to see this um, people who do bad things they are not after motorcycles for sure not after me not after the, my motorcycle oh wow this is beautiful this is beautiful oh my goodness oh my goodness yeah but they are mostly after trucks they mostly after trucks and how this happens is they throw something on the road um, in front of trucks so that the truck punctures the tire and then they rob it 
um, what they also said that I do not want to be in the situation where so no nobody is after me but I do not want to be in situation when some robbery is happening for example or um, when people throw something on the road and uh, I'm there with my motorcycle um, but yeah that's if if I don't ride at night it's perfectly fine and safe um, except that sometimes there might be roadblocks and when the road is not blocked by police but it's blocked by a long truck for example so sometimes how it happens um, the road gets blocked with a truck and um, yeah then in this case uh, I'd better turn around and just go from there but overall they said that it's really so they never they they are uh, motorcyclists adventure motorcyclists here and uh, so exploring different roads and all they never seen anything like that and it's really hard hard to encounter this but this happens so i just should keep it this in mind but yeah i'm i'm not going to ride at night anyway so Oof. look at these views look at these views whoa and the road is in perfect condition there are sometimes some rocks here and there but I mean we are in the mountains It's important to acknowledge that the Sierra Madre Occidental, despite its beauty and biodiversity, has been a center of cartel activity for decades. It's easy to blame someone for this, but just imagine yourself in these circumstances. Here are some of the most common problems. First is poverty and lack of opportunity. Many communities within the region struggle with poverty and limited economic prospects. This makes them vulnerable to recruitment by cartels who offer financial incentives. What if you have a family but no other opportunity for a job except for a legal one? What if that's what everyone around does and that's the norm of your environment since childhood? Second one is remote terrain. The west and rugged mountains provide a natural hideout for illegal operations, making it difficult for law enforcement to establish and maintain a presence. And then corruption. Corruption within law enforcement and government institutions can sometimes create an environment where criminal activity goes unchecked. 14 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm so happy I escaped the heat of Mozatlan. Oof. This heat is not for me for sure. At least not for riding. Do you see this? It's not only my imagination, right? You can also see this. this. Oh, cow. Hello, cow. Oh, hello, more cows. No, oh, hello, hello. thinking that I find it um, comforting I guess talking to you so I I do so I, I do riding solo most of the time and this is my choice um, because I really enjoy it more this way I guess I don't know it's just different experience you know I, I like my friends I like riding with them but for traveling and for fully experiencing things I prefer to do it solo because then 
you communicate more with the world outside and with people outside and when you go with friends you're more staying with your group and uh, if you talk you talk more to people inside your group um, also i'm not sure how about you but i i feel like i have some limits on how much i can <laughs> i can talk i'm very much a uh, introverted person and uh, if, for example, I had an evening talking to someone, then the next day I would probably uh, prefer to spend in solitude and just in my own thoughts. And yeah, but I, I enjoy I enjoy people, but um, I enjoy myself too. It's just I think it's it's like that for everyone. Just the balance is different for everyone. But yeah, what I'm talking about. So riding solo is my choice. Um, but sometimes I want to share something with someone, like experience or some thoughts, or to show what I see, or just talk to someone. This happens too. And then I'm so happy that I have you guys. I think that's um, yeah, that's how it works. That's how YouTube YouTube works for me uh oh what's up revolcaderos not sure what's this Hola. so yeah thanks for being here for me and listening whatever I have in my head when I need it as I mentioned thank you so much for being with me on my journey but yeah I get my solitude when I need it which is very important for me as well look at these rocks Oof. Yes, I did not know much about... Well, I researched before my trip, of course, but before researching, I did not know much about how beautiful the country is. I heard a lot about how good and kind the people are um, and how people feel good here and all, but um, most of the imagine how you how do i say this so yeah english is not my native as you might already noticed so sometimes um, i spent a couple of minutes searching for the right word yeah what I, okay let me pass this truck first and then i'll get back to you So the image of the country is mostly cactuses and desert and sombreros. Um, what else? Tequila, tacos. Did I uh, list all the stereotypes? If you have something else, then oh, cartels, of course. Uh, yeah, if you have something else, leave it down below. What stereotypes uh, of Mexico have you heard uh, of? But when I start researching, I was amazed. I was amazed of all the things you can do here, of all the roads you can take, of all the beautiful nature that you can experience. And right now I am going through one of these experiences, riding these roads, riding, riding this ro road, um, Espinaza del Diablo. This just blows my mind, honestly. But cactus are here as well. Yeah, they were right there on the right. <laughs> okay, here are some. There was a pig uh, which is being chased by dogs. 
and they were running all over the road. <laughs> I did not get time to film this, but yeah, that was fun. It's important to note that not everyone living in the Sierra Madre Occidental is involved in cartel activity. Many residents are deeply opposed to the cartels and their destructive influence. There are also ongoing efforts by local communities, indigenous groups and civil society organizations to combat cartel activity and promote peace and development in the region. The part of the mountain range I'm riding through is famous for its Sinaloa cartel. It's no secret that the infamous Sinaloa cartel originated and remains deeply in the region. It shapes its economy, politics and even daily life for many residents. The cartel primarily focuses on cultivating, producing and transporting various drugs, including marijuana, cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine and fentanyl. Sinaloa serves as a major production hub for these substances. Cartel's influence extends beyond Mexico, with smuggling routes reaching the United States, Europe and Asia. Despite the cartel's negative influence, Sinaloa remains a land of immense beauty and cultural richness. Its beaches, mountains and vibrant cities offer diverse attractions for tourists and locals alike. While the fight against cartels continues, Finding solutions that address the root causes of poverty, lack of opportunity and corruption is crucial for sustainable peace and development. This is a complex issue with far-reaching consequences. It's crucial to stay informed about current developments and approach the situation with nuance, recognizing the struggles and resilience of the people living in Sinaloa. Again, it's easy to blame someone or even the whole country, but that doesn't help anyone and that just adds up to stereotypes. And mass media makes things worse by looking for attention-grabbing headlines. Hello. A lot of animals. A lot of animals on the road. But the pig that was chased by uh, the dogs, <laughs> it was the highlight of this road. Beautiful. guys um, I hope to see you again someday yeah Roberto and his friend they um, they need to go faster than me obviously so they um, they went and I'm on my way to Durango um, there is a 
beautiful park on my way there I'm not sure to be honest um, I think I have a very long day tomorrow with very early wake up and all so I need not to overestimate my energy and my capabilities oh wow Oof. rocks rocks uh, yeah so probably I will skip it and add here lunch um, yeah maybe I will just have lunch somewhere and head to Durang Durango um, when I stop uh, people sometimes take pictures with me today and this is exactly the day when I did not wash my hair for, <laughs> for a pretty long time so I feel a bit awkward <laughs> Uh, yeah, I promise to. Take a proper shower today. <laughs> How beautiful it is! How beautiful is this?